up welcome back to reina latina i missed y'all last week's challenge was crazy sorry i'm making me some fish tacos and so i was like fuck it let's multitask you know get two and one done actually let's start off with that today has been the longest fucking day in a hot minute hold up I don't understand people that don't appreciate beer. Ah, oh, it's like soothing. Mm. But anyways, so today has been a fucking day. Today people, like I swear the universe has forgotten who the fuck I am and has sent me all these people that are just fucking trying me today. Like fucking over it. So I work Instacart as a side job. Because my actual job is slow right now. Because, you know, with this whole fucking Rona shit. Who knows when this bitch gonna calm, da calm down. So, anyways. I'm working. I'm at the store. And I hate being in the way. So, I have my car and I, like, always put it to the side. Like, wherever there's an aisle. I just put it to the side. So, it's, like, out of my way. Even if I need to go down this aisle, like, I can grab whatever I need to grab. without my car being in the fucking way. I hate people that are in the way. And I hate being in the way. But, anyways. And I guess I was moving too slow for this lady. I don't fucking know. But she's like, oh my god, just move out of the way. And she said it loud enough for me to hear, but not loud enough to where, like, other people could hear. You know what I mean? So she was, like, low-key being brave. Me being the fucking person that I am. I looked back and I was like, oh, I'm sorry, did you say something? She was like, yeah, I just needed you to get out the way. And so I look at her and I was like, oh, well, it's called excuse me, you know. You should have just said excuse me, I would have gladly gotten out of your way. And she was like, it's called some manners. And I was like, it's called using your fucking words, lady. Like, literally, all you have to do is say, excuse me, and I would have gotten out of your way. It is not that fucking hard. Like, I hate, not hate, but I do, mm, not this spice. I really dislike <laughs> older people that don't have any fucking manners. Because I'm like, I grew up with manners. I grew up in an area where, in an era where manners was a fucking thing. So I know for y'all, manners for sure was a fucking thing. So what the fuck happened that you just think you can do whatever the fuck you want, you know? So this lady, like, after I told her, um, use your fucking words, she, like, looked at me and she was, like, appalled that I had freaking, how dare I tell her something. But I'm like, lady, like, you're the one that was rude to me. You know, you started it. And so, I was like, whatever. And so, you know, that shit, like, it's a hot day. So, you know, we were just like, this bitch for real had the fucking nerve. And you just kind of think about it, whatever. So then, I'm still in the store or whatever. I'm still shopping around. And then this fucking lady, this other lady, like, I'm grabbing some um, lemons, limes. I don't know, the green ones. I'm grabbing some. <laughs> and underneath me is the yellow ones. So I'm getting some lemons, limes, whatever the fuck they are, and the ones that she needs are below me. They're under me. And again, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, if I just went off on this other lady, I low-key, I can't excuse anybody, you know? Like, all y'all gotta learn to say excuse me. So I'm reaching over, right? Like, I'm like this, and like, the lemons are up here, whatever, the limes, whatever. They're up here, and what she needs is down here, and it's like a small, I'm in her way. Plain and simple, I'm in her freaking way. And so I'm waiting, and I'm not moving. I know she needs to get there, but I'm not moving because I'm like, it's called excuse me. So this other chick comes, and she, like, tells her something, and then she, she's, like, upset. And she's like, oh, well, I don't know, but this girl is just in my way, and she just won't get out of the way. And I look back at her, and I was like, I'm sorry, are you talking to me? And she's like, yeah, I've been waiting for you to move. And I was like, lady, you can say excuse me, and I would have gladly moved. Again, same shit with the other fucking person, right? And I'm like, y'all just gonna learn today. I'm not the fucking one. And, like, how hard is that to say excuse me? I don't fucking understand. Fucking, so she gets all mad, and she was like, oh, my God. She's like, kids nowadays are just so rude. And I look at her, and I was like, ma'am, all you had to do was say excuse me. That's using your manners. That's using your words. And I would have gladly gotten out of your way. You can't just expect me to move because you're standing right behind me. And so, again, I'm annoyed. But I'm, like, trying not to go off on this lady. Because she was, like, an older, older lady. And that's one thing my mom taught me, too. Like, respect your elders, you know? And then she just, like, got all mad. And she she said something. She went off. All I know is she went off. Like, her face turned all red. And, like, I'm low-key deaf in one ear, so I couldn't fucking hear her. And I was just like, this just isn't worth it. I got shit to do. Like, I'm getting time for my fucking order. I gotta go, you know? 
So I just, like, leave. I, like, I, I don't know what the fuck she said. I just looked at her and I just walked away. This is literally, because this was, like, my first order. So this was at, like, 8 in the morning. I'm like, already? Y'all already in the mood? If you're in the mood, then go home. Don't come to the fucking grocery stores and make us deal with your shit. You know what I mean? Like, and then I get another fucking order. So then, after that or whatever, go to this other store, and I go to fucking Costco. And, like, guys, with this whole fucking mask shit, like, I'm not used to it. I don't like shit in my face. I'm not used to it. Every now and then, I forget to put on my mask. And, like, normally, I forget when I'm still in the parking lot. So then I just go run back to my car and get it, you know? No big fucking deal. I just, I'm sorry, I'm not fucking used to wearing a, some fucking shit on my face. Like, it's not a fucking thing. So anyways, I get into the store, and you think people would fucking say something because it's mandatory now, but no one fucking told me anything. I don't have my fucking mask on. I don't, I haven't realized at this point yet that I don't have my mask on. The front lady at the door didn't tell me nothing. So, this, like, associate comes, and she's not even a manager. This associate comes, and she looks at me, and she was like, you need to be wearing a mask. You can't be in the store unless you're wearing a mask. And... She said it not with attitude, but, like, more, like, being assertive. And so, at least that's how I took it. And so I looked at it, and I was like, oh, my God. I was like, yeah, fuck, I'm so sorry. It's in my car. I'll go get it right now. I was like, is it okay if I leave my car here? And she was like, yeah. And then, like, as I'm talking to her, this lady comes up. And she's like, you're so rude for not wearing a mask. If you don't want to wear a mask, then you should have just stayed home. She fucking came at me. She didn't even fucking know me. She didn't know me in my life. She didn't know if I chose not to fucking wear a mask or if I fucking forgot it, you know? So anyways, um, I look at her and I was like, how about you buy your goddamn business because ain't nobody fucking talking to you. Like, plain and fucking simple. Damn, lady. Like, shit. And then she was like, oh my god. And she just, like, walked away. And so I looked at the lady and I was like, I'm sorry. I was like, I'll go get my mask right now. And as I'm literally... So I'm literally, like, I pu pushed my cart to, like, get it out of the way. What's fucking attitude? She was just like, you should have been stopped at the, at the door. And I, like, I look back at her, and I was like, what? And she's like, I'm just saying, like, they should have stopped you at the door. I, I don't know, like, it's not normal for customers to walk in without masks. And I was like, I already told you I forgot it. I'm going to go get it. Clearly, your people didn't tell me nothing, like. And she was like, oh, maybe you just put it in your pocket. And then that's what, like, really did it for me. You know? That's what pissed me off. Like, and I told her, I was like, why the fuck would I go back to my car and get a fucking mask if I have the fucking mask in my pocket? Are you fucking kidding me right now? I was like, maybe your fucking people should learn how to do their motherfucking job. Especially if they're at the fucking door. And that's their job, to make sure we all got fucking masks on. Like, I was upset. At this point, this is like the third fucking lady going off on me. And I fucking, like, for no fucking reason. And it is literally, like, 10 a.m. Like... I'm fucking over it already, my day. I'm fucking over it, you know? I was fucking upset. I was just like, this stupid ass motherfucker for real told me, oh, well, maybe it's in your pocket. Then why the fuck would I walk all the way back to my car to get the fucking mask if it was just in my pocket? Why would I not? And, like, what bothered me more was the fact that I didn't even, like, complain about the fact that I needed to wear a mask. You know what I mean? I literally was like, oh shit, I'm sorry. I'll go get one. Like, I fucking apologize for that shit. And you're gonna give me your motherfucking attitude because you're having a fucking bad day? Fuck you. Okay, sorry. I moved you around because a bitch is hungry and I gotta get to fucking cooking. But anyways. Um, so yeah. So I'm fucking annoyed. You know, like at this point, this is like what? The fourth person I said that fucking has gone off on me like... For no fucking reason. It'd be different if I was the one who went F on y'all first, but no. So anyway. Oh my god, it's just a long ass fucking day. So then, okay, whatever. This shit fucking happens. Um, I start driving home. I'm trying to park and I'm looking. And like legit, they have big ass gaps. These cars are like, one is here and the other one could be here and then the other one could be here. And the other, you know, properly space yourself. No! No! Like... If I could be the one to park all these cars, all these cars, on the street, there would be at least three or four more cars on each side that could park, that can fit. But they don't because people park all fucking stupid. That's my fucking life, guys. Like, and I came home, and you know, like, when it's just been a long day, and you're just like, what? What else? What else? Like... 
I just want to come home and rest and just shit keeps fucking happening to you. This is why I'm drinking. <laughs> nice ass cold beer because a bitch is stressed. Like my shoulders hurt, my back hurts, my feet hurt. But you know when you're so stressed that like your shoulders and like your neck hurt and you're just like, <sighs> like I just need to fucking go home, you know? But anyways, oh, come look at my tacos. Ooh, look at that shit. Where is that? Where is that? Ooh, look at that. Hey, I can hella charge like some fucking, I don't even fucking know what. Five dollars. I could go to a Karen neighborhood and fucking charge some fucking five dollars per taco for some fish tacos. Especially these ones, because they healthy as fuck. Because a bitch out here trying to be healthy. But anyways, moral of the story, guys, don't be fucking assholes. Do not be fucking assholes. Like, if you're having a bad day, don't take it out on the fucking world. It is not my fault that your fucking husband is shitty. It is not, like, associates that work at the store's fault that, like, you have an awful fucking friend. You know what I mean? Like, don't take it out on people. Go home. Go home with your rude ass. You, you gonna be rude? Get the fuck out of here. But anyways, so, that's it for today, guys. Just thought I'd share with you. Oh, uh because -huh, I'm gonna enjoy my tacos now. So, mmm, mmm. All right, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, oh, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Laugh at me if you fucking want to. Share with your friends and laugh at all the fucking shit I had to deal with today. I don't give a fuck. Just share it, guys. Share it. Okay, baby.